Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Gross Occur first. And we've got a new build for you guys to check out. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're using Henry J. Hyde, but I have made a slight change from the usual. And uh, so you'll see Henry J. Hyde, we've got Andrew Cunningham, we've got Franz Von Hipper, and then we have flammable cannoneer. I swapped out Aladad for my gross occur first to the uh, porcupine. And the reason I did that is porcupine gives you a lot of good things, but the gross occur first has 420 millimeter guns, which don't seem to have the same problem penetrating as the uh, 15 inch guns do on say the Bismarck, the Tirpitz, and so on and so forth. So that's why for this build I went with porcupine. Uh, marksmanship, obviously, and then uh, we kept the extra two heels rather than going with this. I did try this. I didn't really care for it too much. Um, I just don't think that it makes up the gap for being in, uh, or losing out on your heels. Now, if they move this to a uh, legendary perk for hide or something, maybe. But uh, other than that, not too per particularly worried about it. Now, what does this mean with this build? Now, we're also running our, uh, well, for our loadout, let's just go over this. We've got secondary battery mod two. We've got damage control, we've got the uh, target acquisition mod, because you have to, and then for the secondary batteries, we are also running, or for the last one, we're running secondary battery mod 3, okay? And then on top of that, we're running the 420 millimeter guns, because bigger is better, always. <laughs> uh, loadout. So we have swapped our spotter plane for the enhanced targeting of the secondaries. We are running a uh, epic credit booster. We are running the epic battle booster for the extra range and movement speed and all that good stuff and the reload time of all consumables. Okay. And then, of course, we are running a contr uh, community contributor camo as well. Uh, stats. What does this mean? We, well, we've got 100,360 hit points and the artillery. Uh, we can still reach out to 19.2 kilometers with the main batteries. The main batteries on the gross curve first are pretty accurate anyway, even without getting the uh, extra 7% buff of the uh, first main battery consumable. Uh, but we can reach out to 19.2. Unfortunately, our reload time suffers a little bit. We're only a 32 second reload on the main batteries. Uh, but our secondaries can reach out to 10.6 kilometers and the reload of the secondary uh the 128s is 3.2 and the reload of these 150s is six seconds they both reach out to 10.6 and they both do quite a bit so uh yeah with that being said let's get to the gameplay in this first clip i just want to show you guys what happens to somebody who strays a little bit too close to the uh, gross occur first with the secondary configuration here we have a Yudachi who has gotten inside the six kilometer sonar range and we put the rear guns on him and get a pretty good hit. But watch the secondaries just rip this guy apart. We are running the consumable right now. We've knocked out his propulsion. He's going to overrun his smoke and unfortunately for him, that's going to equal death. We hit him with the front guns and get a much better salvo out of the front guns, set him on fire with the, the secondaries and he goes down from just getting pummeled to death. Um, that is what you can expect if you're a destroyer and you wander too close to a gross occur first with a secondary build. It is disgusting. Whereas the Bismarck has 105 millimeter guns and 150 millimeter guns, the gross occur first has 128 millimeter guns and 150 millimeter guns. They rip destroyers apart. And uh, cruisers, you can't sleep on them either. Battleships, you, you're in a world of trouble too if you got several gross occur firsts. I was rushed by three gross occur firsts, and uh, yeah, it was it was a rough way to go. Uh, I did survive. My, me and my team managed to take out all three of them, but uh, I survived with 930 hit points, just long enough to get my last or my damage control off to keep myself from burning to death and then get my heals back to get to recover up to about 35,000 hit points before the end of the match. Um, it was it was a rough, rough fight, but it just goes to show you these secondaries are doing plenty. OK, I know there's still a few people on the fence about the secondaries, but trust me, they're doing OK. Uh, we're going to give them a little bit of a showcase here against battleships in this one as well. So, uh, yeah, we're going to push to the right side on tiers of the uh, desert. 
And unfortunately for this, this Iowa out here, you would think he's going to be the center of attention, but no. There's a gross occur for us to get spotted. He's broadside on, and every single person on our team is like, oh, <laughs> well, we might as well shoot him. I mean, if he's going to be broadside like this, you know, it's, it's just going to be a thing. Wait for it. He gets absolutely pummeled, and then we pummel him, and then everybody else pummels him. <laughs> and that man has just lost 70,000 hit points in real quick succession. <laughs> and that just goes to show you how you cannot, cannot risk sailing broadside like that. You notice that I was turned broadside as well, but I turned even further to go at an angle away from everybody just in case that that actually happened but uh here we get a z23 spotted i take the thought of shooting him but then the iowa looked like he was gonna go broadside but then he disappears so then i'm like all right shoot the shoot the destroyer we try to pace him as best we can he disappears just after we shoot not sure i quite let him enough or maybe he's gonna slow down or, or turn out one way or the other but uh he manages to get away with it we don't actually hit him unfortunately but uh you know, it was one of those things where it just just happens occasionally. Now, I'm going to be pushing over to A. Everybody on my side initially ran away, but some of them's coming back. And so we're going to try to get into a fight here. Uh, the Iowa that's out there on my left, he, he actually took a shot at us. Uh, did a little bit of damage. About 8,000 damage or so. But uh, this Alaska, oh my god, I was salivating. I was literally salivating. Unfortunately, he's actually slowing down, and those shots are going to miss for the most part. I think we get a couple overpins on the bow of the ship, but uh, that's about it. Um, yeah, one overpin is all we got out of that. He slowed down to stop before the island. I was expecting him to just try to get behind the island. So, uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be a thing for us. We are in full reverse. We're not going to be able to get these shots off in time, unfortunately. And uh, I see the mountain, but I was thinking maybe the rear guns would still be able to shoot over the... Uh, the mount or shoot before they got behind the island and uh unfortunately just wasn't meant to be but is what it is now the next part of this is exactly what you don't want to do if you're in a uh, heavy cruiser especially of the japanese variety and uh you're gonna he's gonna make himself known to everybody on this side of the map and unfortunately for him he's got two battleships over here that are more than capable of hitting him the gross occur first and the yamato and the yamato takes a shot at him first and we get the shot off just before he disappears or I guess he, he stayed a, uh, spotted quite a bit but he just loses all of his health and then of course we finish him off with another citadel and that just goes to show you cannot be you can't do that you cannot be the center of attention in these cruisers like this you have battleships here why were you pushing ahead there's no reason for it he can't shoot over the island that's there so what was he going to do sit behind the island and hope to maybe catch people as they're engaging with the battleships unfortunately just wasn't meant to be for him uh he lost everything real quick and as you can see the enemy has already lost three ships but you can see the jean bart here is uh he's he's having a bad day he's finding out just like the rest of his team that uh we are working pretty well over here we're just running right through his entire team immediately getting fires with the secondaries watch the secondaries just light this this jean bart up remember jean bart is very susceptible to ag and what are we shooting with our secondaries ag so even when we're not setting fires we're still getting damage against them look at this 500 400 500 300 they like just absolutely stacking up damage passively while we reload the main guns and then the guy starts making a, a beeline for us. We shoot straight at his guns. We, we knock out one of them temporarily, which is going to give us some time to turn out because we do not want to get rammed. And so, uh, yeah, you can see we, we get set on fire twice because, again, Jean Bart also has pretty good secondaries. And we're going to try to get turned out to angle so that when he does fire armor piercing at us that we don't have to worry about a whole lot there, even though he has had one of his main guns destroyed at this point. Um, but... As you can see, he's burning from stem to stern. He's, he's just, he's not having a good time. <laughs> and down he goes. We finish him off, destroying his other gun in the process. <laughs> so, uh, you know, just a little insult to injury. Bismarck comes around the corner, thinks he's hot stuff. We're going to show him exactly how much hot stuff he really is and show him what a real German ship is capable of. I know. I know what you're thinking. Sport, you just said you liked the Bismarck. I, I do now, suddenly. 
it is a decent ship. However, it's not a Grosse Curve First. <laughs> and uh, if I had to choose between a Grosse Curve First and the Bismarck, I'll take the Grosse Curve First any day of the week. Way? There's a few overpins there, not the best salvo in the world. Uh, he's coming towards us, so I kind of I, I shot a little too high that first time. But uh, we rectify it with the rear guns, and then we start turning in, expecting some more armor piercing. My uh, Richelieu or Jean Bart that's on my left is getting a little too close. Bismarck clearly aims to go straight into him and get some damage before he dies by ramming him. And so uh, I'm going to try to avoid that for our guy. Now this salvo is going to be much juicier. <laughs> And just as we get loaded, can we save our team? Three, two, one, pow! <laughs> Finishing him off in the very last moment before he rams our Richelieu. Richelieu giving us a nice little thanks. We end up with 115,000 damage at the moment. Uh, we did everything that we could. We didn't get the base capped, but it looks like the team is going to capture the base here. And uh, luckily for us, they do. We're going to push over straight into D and make our way down range to, uh, towards the rest of the enemy ships. But uh, as you can see, 154 secondary hits in that short amount of time between the Bismarck and the Jean Bart. Uh, just absolutely tearing them apart. Uh, not just... it's People are saying that you can't do damage against battleships with them. That's entirely wrong. Uh, maybe not with the 105s, but the 150s definitely do damage against battleships when they hit. So uh, people are just not paying attention. But uh, the secondaries are not supposed to be the main source of damage for your ship anyway. I personally find that they are perfectly, perfectly serviceable as is. Now that they've been fixed, it is nice. Uh, I would like to, again, I said it in the last video, I would like to see a manual fire control option for the secondaries so that we can select a target for the secondaries to fire at. But uh, even if we can't, they're still very effective. Like, they, they are doing their jobs, finally. It's not like you've got a bunch of drunk sailors just firing randomly at different points of the map just hoping to hit something out there. But... Uh, this Alaska gets very lucky not to be removed from the earth at this point. Not that I think he cares at this point. He's just, at this at this moment in time, I think he's just all along until he dies. Um, and we're going to see how long he lasts. He's actually going to last quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Sometimes people uh, just, they run away for a while to try to get a little bit of extra damage. But in this one... You might as well just hang up your hat. It's, you're not long for this world. And uh, here we get a good shot at the, the Alaska again. Unfortunately, I think he's paying attention to us as far as the shells incoming. I mean, everybody on the map is shooting at him at this point because he's the only thing spotted. So maybe not. Maybe he's dodging everybody else and just happens to dodge me. But you can see I'm trying to get the rear guns on him and uh, I'm hoping that we can snap it over the island. It looks like we got it off in time. Clears the mountain just in time. Are we gonna catch him? He's not paying attention. Uh, oh, just enough. Left him with just enough to get away for now. And then, of course, as we come around the other side of the island, he doubles back and he's starting to get tagged by all the HE, and so he's not long for this world. Down he goes, Hipper finishes him off. And that just leaves a destroyer, who is now spotted. Z-23 from earlier that we missed. Are we going to be able to finish him off this time? Didn't quite give him enough lead here, but I was expecting him to slow down. Are we going to get him? Oh, it looks good. Oh, no, we get robbed. We get robbed. It looked like it was going to nail him, and it just didn't. But uh, we finished the game with 121,000 damage, which isn't bad, but I wanted to showcase that the secondaries are fully capable of just absolutely dominating other ships, especially, even battleships. So uh, we make 61,000 silver with our uh, credit booster, but uh, if you if let me know if you guys have tried anything like this yet, and uh, put it down in the comments for me. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.